Hey, beautiful kings and queens. Listen, Latoya Love, um, I'm here with a quick word, just a quick one. I can't, I don't like these earbuds. Anyways, first of all, let me just welcome back to all the people, the new people that have subscribed to the channel. Um, I am going to, I'm going to welcome the Holy Spirit quickly, quickly into this uh, video, um, God, and just help me get this word out to your children, just as you will have me. God, may you be glorified. May we honor you in this moment, in this hour, in Jesus' mighty name. We continue to seek your presence each and every second and moment throughout the day. Amen. Okay, family. The, I was sitting here with the Lord, and um, the Lord is has been touching on my heart today about um, thanking him. And I was reading the book of Psalms and he says, but giving thanks is a sacrifice that truly honors me. If you keep to my path, I will reveal to you the salvation of God. And thankfulness is the sacrifice, family. Thankfulness is the sacrifice that he wants. Um... He wants us to be thankful in all circumstances and situations. And he says, I will rescue you in a time of trouble. And he said that my ways are higher than your ways. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. So do not try to fathom my ways. Don't try to understand my ways. That's the problem. We try to figure out why did this happen. Sometimes we just got to say, thank you, God. I don't know the reason why. I don't know this. Or, God, I know that you're going to equip me for the day because your word says that you will equip me for whatever it is I need. God, in all my weaknesses, make me strong. God, I believe that you're going to get me there, that you're going to finish everything you started in me because your word says it. Father, I thank you for uh, keep getting me out of the spirit, uh, for removing the generational curse and for freeing me, for setting me free from all spiritual demons and warfare and i just thank you god if you start to thank him when you pray you're going to start to see chains are going to be loosed thankfulness is the key to him be thankful in all situations and circumstances i can't express you might don't want to give him thanks but you better give him thanks praise him see think about this you got people that are sit around i know some people in my family that will say um, well, I don't have no money. Um, I don't have any money. Uh, blah, blah. I'm sorry, guys. I look a hot mess. I just got work. Uh, I don't have any money. Um, I'm all, I, I gotta pay my bills. Think about this. What you put out is what you put in. If you are always talking about, matter of fact, I wrote something down earlier. If you always talking about lack and complaining, that's why I tell you, instead of complaining, thank him. When we complain, we open up the way of portal for the devil to come in and wreak havoc. No, 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 no. Thank God, thank you that you are turning my circumstances around. Thank you that I shall lack no good thing because that's what your word says. Thank you, God, that you're making all things new. Thank you that I am a new creation. Thank you, Father God, that you are healing me of uh, diabetes. Thank you that I don't, even though the doctor said that I was diagnosed with this, but you are my healer. Thank you that you are the God of the heavens and the earth. Thank you that you walk with me everywhere I go. Thank you that you will expose every bit of darkness in my life. Just start thanking him. Thank you, God, for when you save me from them drugs and when you save me from that car wreck and when you save me from all my enemies. I just thank you, Lord. Thank you that you take care of me. Thank you that you will provide everything I need. Thank you that you will pay my bills instead of, I ain't got no money. I ain't never been. I'm tired of being that. that. No. He told me to tell you today. Be thankful. Yes, I found it. Yes, he says. The more you experience me, the more convinced you become of my goodness. The not, this knowledge is essential to your faith walk. 
When adversity strikes, the human instinct is to doubt my goodness. My ways are mysterious even to those who know me intimately. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways and thoughts are higher than yours and thoughts. Do not try to fathom my ways and say it. Spend time and join me in experiencing my goodness. Trust that I will equip you for whatever awaits you on your journey. Look neither behind you nor before you. Instead, focus your attention on me, your constant companion. I design time to be a protection for you. It is in the present moment that I meet you. Refresh yourself in my company of his presence. The highest level of trust to is enjoy me moment by moment. I am watching over you and I'm with you wherever you go. Thank me. Trust me. Trust him. Thank him. Thank him. In all circumstances and situations, be thankful. Call on the name of the Lord. Be thankful, family. I just wanted to tell somebody today. Stop complaining about what you don't have and start thanking him for what you do have. Start thanking him for what you do have. And again, I apologize. This word is important. <laughs> I was sitting here. I was like, I got to tell him, like, start thanking him for what you do have. Keep your eyes on Jesus, what my hat say. Keep your eyes on Jesus, family. Keep your eyes. If you got, if you so much clouded, crowding your mind with the word of God, praising him, thanking him. There won't be no way for the devil to sneak in. But when we walking with our head down, he he looking at you. He playing off your emotions. And when you complain, what you put out. So think about it. What you put out negativity, you're going to get negativity. You put out positivity, you're going to get positivity. So when you put out, I ain't got no money. I ain't never this. Oh, I'm, I, I can't pay my bills. And, you know, you're not trusting God. You're doing it on your own, and that's where the problem lies. Stop doing things on your own and rely on God. We need to, um, I can't depend on nobody. Watch your tongue, because you excluded God. I ain't got nobody. Watch your tongue. You excluded God. All the parts, only one I do have is God. You better start rearranging that tongue and what you say. And you think it's pure and innocent, but that's that sneaky bastard got you out there fooled. You're saying, God, I don't need you. You need God. I don't need nobody. I've been doing it on my own. Really? Really? What you been doing on your own? Because as far as I'm concerned, God breathed, breathed, breathed that life into your nostril and gave you air. So the breath of life was born when he breathed into your nostril. So no, 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 sisters and brothers, kings and queens. Let me enlighten you today. God, so stop complaining. Stop right now today. And, and come on now, speak life. Watch what you say out your mouth. Watch what you say. As I read in my Bible, uh, on my other video the other day, it says in the book of Proverbs, uh, you're not helping the poor and needy. I say this all the time in my videos because I'm serious. Y'all need to get out there and help somebody. And then maybe your blessings will start flow. God said, I will not help you in the time of need when you cry out to me. Because you won't even help none of his people. Because Jesus said, when you do it to them, you do it to me. You're not just doing it. So when you looking at that homeless man and walking by with your little self judging them, you you judging Jesus because G, you, sometimes God tests you to see if you going to do it. It might be an angel. You might have entertained an angel, but miss your blessing because you want to judge. They able bodies. They can do what you don't know what nobody can do. And I say this all the time. Y'all be so serious. And if you know that you, God says, treat people how you want to be treated. Quit judging people. God is the judge and he's going to judge on the on judgment day. You let him decide decipher that. You don't you don't worry about that. You feel me, family? Like you you just do what 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 thus says the Lord. Do what you know. And we wonder why a lot of stuff is happening. It's it God is trying to raise you up to break the curse. The curse enough is enough. You know that's why I turned my life around. I said I I can't do this anymore. I can't live this life anymore. I can't. Walk around, don't know job the job that ain't getting me to the career that ain't building no. What am I living for? What am I doing? 
You were made in, uh, for God. That's what you're doing. You were made for him. For him. He created us for him. Some of you may, some, some was created for wickedness, evilness. I mean, I don't know. But what are you doing with yourself? What are we doing, family? Like, we got to build each other up. We, I know it's hard. Because the demon spirits try to tell me to lay down, go to sleep, don't do this, don't go to the gym. You know, just because I can't see it happening, but I don't think nothing happening. But I know spiritually it's happening because I've been praying and I've been fasting. I've been praising. I've been walking with God and I've been doing my videos. I've been doing my podcast. I've been serving the kingdom of God. But the devil want to keep your mind just, no, 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 no. But you got to fight against that demon. And you tell him to get away from you because it is written, Satan. Every time he come, do what Jesus said. It is written, Satan. <laughs> My father will finish every good work he has started in me. In Jesus' name. I hope this word bless somebody today. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. What are you doing? Y'all have a blessed day. I'm tired. <laughs> I am Latoya Love with the love of Christ. My goal is to bring light, light to the people, to the world. To shed some light to the broken hearted, to shine light on darkness in Jesus name. And that light is Jesus Christ. Yes, higher. The Nazareth, Lord have mercy. God, give me the strength, Lord. Give me the strength. Sometimes you, before you get out of bed, you got to say, God, give me the strength. And you got to fight. Keep fighting that good fight of faith. Family, if you went going this long, you can keep going. Don't give up. That's when God going to kick in. That overtime going to kick in. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.